Hello everyone. Uh, once again, we have uh, another UFC 5 update. So this is uh, an official UFC 5 gameplay trailer in deep dive. And this features, of course, Marshall Mind, who is my favorite UFC gamer uh, ever. So again, uh, this is from the EA Sports UFC channel. So official channel. I think Marshall Mind uh, is the official an uh, uh, endorser of this so yeah let's see and uh yeah we have seen uh some of the game tr gameplay trailer already but again this is a deep dive to the to everything i suppose and let's watch welcome to the ea sports ufc 5 okay. gameplay deep dive my name is Marshall Mind, and today we'll be talking about some brand new features designed to deliver a whole new level of MMA cool. authenticity and immersion to the game. We'll look at features like the real impact system, new striking real impact system, okay, stoppages, a brand new exciting. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna turn off something. And with that, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about today is the real impact. Okay, system, this is the real which impact is system. A catchphrase for the conglomeration. And look at the blood. Look at the cuts. Events, facial injuries, full cool. body hit reactions, overall authentic damage, oh. and the impact they have on a fight. Oh, Dom, Unlike poor Dom. Previous games where injuries to the athletes were doesn't matter. Official, yeah, it doesn't matter. Five introduces an innovative impact system. That accurately reflects the okay nice athlete on the goals during so this time of course yeah the injuries matter and the cuts especially the cuts matter the match, which influences both the athlete's condition and the ultimate match results this is demonstrated visually with the all-new damage icons cool now, we get into let's see that icons, one I, I can't stress enough just how much more impactful this new damage system is going to be in UFC 5. The few times that I played against another player. Okay, let's see. Oh, every man. single time I got cut, it was like, oh my god, you really got to reevaluate what you're doing. You got to watch out. In UFC 5, as you guys are going to see once we start talking about these damage icons in a moment. Okay. Getting cut, getting damaged, it really, really means something. and has an impact in the way the fight actually plays out. The vision penalty icon appears oh. when an athlete gets cut in areas of the face where bleeding could lead to... Wait, let's see that one. Let's see the icon. So it's... The vision penalty icon on the top here. You're below your stamina meter. Nice. Like it's a little small. Eye, the forehead, etc. This leads to an increase in the amount of damage you take on the affected yes. side while the penalty is active. Kind of realistic if no that way. Occurs to the affected location in 30 seconds. The penalty is lifted. The penalty wow, 30 is seconds. At the start of a new round. Is that too the quick? The penalty icon appears when an athlete sustains an injury to the nose or mouth. Cool. How about the how about the ribs? For as long as the penalty is you can't active. breathe if, can <laughs> if your ribs are damaged. Damage to the affected area, Body the shots also. Lifted in 30 seconds. So right now, yeah, they're saying nose and mouth. Start of a new round. The stun icons are broken down into three different icons: the head stun icon, the body stun icon, yes. and the leg stun icon. The head stun icon appears as the result of any health event to the head. Oh. The body stun icon appears as the result of any health event to the body. And the leg stun icon appears as the result of any health event to the leg. The health icons are also broken down into three different icons. The heart yeah. icon, the arm health icon, and the leg health icon. These icons authentically represent the effect. I'm watching the the gameplay here, the movement while listening to Martial Mind. Uh, yeah, the the movement still looks kind of the same on UFC Four. Again, I'm hoping it it isn't. And they say they are using Pro Play, which is um, a great improvement in terms of. Uh, having more realistic movements in uh, characters. They're using it right now in NBA 2K24 and you can see the improvements in uh, 2K24. But uh, yeah, this is something interesting to watch out for. A submission attempt can have on an athlete. The heart yep. icon appears when a player loses a chunk of their maximum stamina due to a deep choke. 
The goal oh. here is to accurately represent how chokes, especially deep ones, can negatively affect an athlete's overall stamina. The arm health icon is meant to signal a loss in maximum block health due to a deep arm submission. Oh, whether it's an arm bar or a kimura, yeah, that that happens when you escape. Realistically, leads to a reduction in blocking ability, and UFC Five represents this authentically. Oh, the leg health icon signals a loss in permanent. Man, leg poor Tony. The player survives a so there's the icon. Leg locks, of course, are some of the most potent submissions an athlete can endure. So whether it's a deep heel hook or a calf slicer, but surviving will not. Yeah, we're seeing the. Uh, the, the the ground game here, the jujitsu game, it's vastly improved. The movement is continuous, unlike in UFC 4, though. So that is a, a big plus. The athlete on skate, and UFC 5 authentically represents this reality. The next thing we'll take a look at is Dr. Stop. Edson. For the nice. first time in the EA Sports UFC first series, time? the Dr. Stoppage will now be another viable way for wow. players to end the match. So the that Dr. was not EA will appear UFC as a result of any facial injury. Yeah, yeah UFC undisputed. That was different. <laughs> At first, was it undisputed or diff a different but game? The subsequent impact is received on the affected area. The icon will appear more red. They gotta play that back. The icon becomes, oh, the the ref is Cut to City, the not T City. And requesting a doctor check. If the doctor examines the injury and determines it is not severe enough to warrant a stoppage, he will exit the cage and the match will continue. However, if he examines the injury and determines that it is Wait. indeed significant enough, he will signal to the ref. What? The match that's end. significant. Let's see. It's below the eyes. I yeah, it's pretty big, but it's below the eyes. The introduction of Doctor Stoppages to UFC Five is just another way that the game truly delivers an authentic mixed martial arts experience. But it also adds another layer to gameplay. Being cool. defensively sound has never been more important, and because of this, there has been some significant enhancements to the core defense. Let's see the blocking in the game, footwork, blocking head movement and lunges have all received significant upgrades resulting in a substantial I think also if you're seeing the crowd they have uh, significantly improved on that one also improvement in your yeah, I don't see it that way in UFC 4 or maybe I just didn't notice but yeah for this it's it's now, it looks way better a lot of players definitely complained about in UFC 4 right like pressure is too strong yeah lock breaking is too strong being defensively sound in UFC 4 is not as easy as it's supposed to be and don't get me wrong you run out UFC of block 5, strength you know, quickly that knows exactly what they're doing you can definitely still get run down with strikes but as we start talking about these new defensive tools in UFC 5 and how they've been upgraded how they've been buffed okay once you master these and once you start using them as intended you're going to notice you will have a lot more success in UFC 5 than you did in UFC 4 when it comes to dealing with pressure and just overall aggression. Okay. In UFC 5, wow. movement in all directions is cool. far more responsive. It is faster and it costs less stamina. Oh. In addition to that, still has that weird <laughs> while using head has weird reaction. Altogether, these advancements collectively establish head movement as an even more potent defense. I thought that was Bilal, but that's Lunges Dominic Reyes. Now also cost less stamina as well as concede less vulnerability. Which okay. Means players will be able to use them a bit more freely compared to UFC 4. And let's not yeah, that one in UFC 4, man, your, your stamina just depletes quickly if you do that. The significance of the footwork stat has been amplified in UFC 5 specifically when it comes to locomotion athletes cool. with a high footwork stat will move noticeably faster and athletes with low footwork stats will move slower so if your goal is to operate from the outside and be slick and run circles around your opponent this will be a much more viable strategy in ufc5 now this topic of defense has always let's see it's it's for us to find out a nagging issue in the ea sports ufc community and i really wanted to dive a bit deeper into this just in case i missed something which is why i sat down with eves gomez an ea sports ufc developer who by the way used to be a game changer some of you probably already know who this is he explained to us a little bit deeper in regards to what we've already talked about right with the head movement the lunge 
challenges the locomotion he goes a little bit deeper and not only explains to us what they did but also why they did it what was the logic behind why they made those decisions that they made so here's eve's talking about these changes all right so can you talk about how vulnerability is going to affect head movement in ufc 5 the frames part of it is just the first part like the first buff okay let's see the gameplay here also cool regarding the stamina cost it now costs a lot less across the board and the that's nice was decreased and the mitigation stamina costs less across the board sideways cool frontal attack and it still catches you yeah definitely faster and Dodge smoother movements here get out of the way yeah fast. we can see it it will still grant you a little bit of vulnerability because you're nice out of the way so it's like the punch is glancing off your face all right so earlier when you said nice or, or i like it fighters with higher head movement stats will now have access to more evasive properties which will allow them to evade shots a lot easier than say ufc4 very slightly uh it, the, it was buffed across the board well i like man yeah dominic move uh cruz has has, has his uh movement here that is nice as slow and as the fighters get tired throughout the fight they don't yep chunks of slowness added to them yeah but overall he's pretty slow though in this in this game slightly faster and varies more granular but I like how uh, they have Dominic's um, movement set right now. Comes to vulnerability, has that been reduced, increased? Like, what are we gonna see in, in UFC Five when it comes to that? When you lunge away from a strike, you take less damage. Cool. The the elbows look better. Are we still gonna have vulnerability with that? Has that been increased? Has that been reduced? That gives you vulnerability, which has been decreased. Yeah, it was a bit much. Yeah, it was like. Maybe the most common way of getting like a flash kill. I wish Dom was faster, man. In terms of the, the footwork stat, right? Like like showing the changes between the fighters that are faster and fighters that are a bit slower. Like we're, we're definitely getting a, a bigger difference between those two fighters in UFC 5, right? Yeah, in comparison to UFC 4. Yeah, there's a bigger contrast now. More precisely, that Look at the elbows, nice. Stays the same. Different so uh, the animations right now. Fast. On the elbow attacks, the on the clinch. On the low end of it. I like it. Defense is not the only important aspect of a match, though. And in UFC 5, going on the offense has never felt better. UFC 5 introduces brand new animations for punches, yes. kicks, elbows, and knees. To talk about a few, the new leg kick animation is beautiful, and the knees are so realistic nice. and powerful looking. The new pivot left hook animation will come in handy when dealing with pressure. And the new front kick to the body animation oh. is snappy and beautiful. Yeah, and I like the kicks. Only, with the power of next generation graphics, visual cues and pro play. Well hit reactions showing just how impactful oh. strikes are have all been amplified. When oh, in Ganu like impact with the athlete improved facial deformation sends a ripple through the face and body ufc5 has also revamped striking controls to be more oh. dynamic giving players a lot more control over basic strikes advanced strikes as well as combinations unlike in ufc4 where you had to press two buttons simultaneously to yeah. perform a strike as basic as an uppercut, uppercut. In ufc5 it is as simple as holding the right bumper and pressing uppercut the is like or square and X and for UFC 4. A new dedicated spin input has also been introduced to the game. And so rather than having to remember a multitude of button combinations for different spinning attacks, the X and circle buttons pressed together will always result in a spin. And when you Okay, excellent. They still have that. Input, like circle for example, to button your fighter will perform a turn in side kick to the body the button input to initiate a clinch has also changed and it's a change that i personally really appreciate it now maintains a uniformity with the takedown input which enhances the overall experience in ufc 5 
Triggering a clinch is as simple as simultaneously pressing square and X. But that's square and X. That, was done to the clinch. that was like uppercut in UFC 4. From Eves if anything has been done to improve the clinch from UFC 4. Because I know I'm not the only one that's curious about this. A lot of players who had issues with the clinch. Because let's be honest, man. It was a sore spot in UFC 4. A lot of those I don't do clinches in UFC 4. Was done. How was it improved? What changes are we going to see that will it's make just the quality so of slow? Life same as the same as uh, the ground game in UFC Four. It just uh, makes the game feel and look slow in yeah, the clinch game. UFC Five in regards to the clinch. So here is Eves giving us some insight into what was done to the clinch in UFC Five. Yeah. So we did a few things. The main thing is that it is easier to prevent people from clinching you by striking them. Because one frustrating thing is that, okay, if you're going to clinch me, I'm just going to punch out of it. But in UFC 4, almost always you would punch them and they'll clinch you. Clinch. It. Exchange. <laughs> Exchanges into the clinch can still happen. But if you're punching someone with a straight attack, we figured that it would make sense that they, that should be the thing that would kind of push their face away, not let them clinch you. So any jab with straight will nullify a clinch attempt. Now, furthermore, any retreating attack. Any sort of retreating attack makes them makes the clinch not stick to you. You were moving away, right? So they can't yeah. clinch you if you're using a retreating attack. And we made more subtle changes to the flow of when you're striking someone as you're trying to escape the clinch. For specific window, they can't block when they're actually exiting, right? That is still possible, but it is harder to do now, and it is especially harder from the cage single under position. But the, the defensive striking the clinch is generally more powerful than it seems. The truth is that if people clinch you through your strike, you actually have the upper hand. If you continue to strike, it will take them out of what they're trying to do. Like you will, it will interrupt the knee that they try to throw you and stuff like that. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. To be the that most is good to hear. In transformation in EA Sports UFC 5. The seamless submission mechanics. Let's see. Time, let's see this. Sports UFC history. I don't use submission. <laughs> UFC four. On a mini game. In earlier iterations like UFC four, triggering a submission. Excuse me. Be it a joint lock or a chokehold, necessitated engaging in a mini yeah, game. Th this is too slow. Move. This element was somewhat detached from the core grappling system. However, in UFC five. This Let's see what what they do here. Integrated, making a groundbreaking evolution. Allow me to explain. But how you do? How do you defend? Submission in UFC Five, for example, a guillotine. You have two choices. You can choose to force your opponent to submit by crossing both feet behind their back and squeezing, leading to attack. Wait, how do you defend that? You can choose to advance to the mounts, a more advantageous position. And although you gave up the submission, you secured another favorable position. As the attacker, the direction of your inputs will always remain the same regardless of the submission. Up to submit and down to advance to another dominant position. In any submission, okay, defended, up to submit, down to advance. The input will also always remain the same regardless of Darcy the submission. Choke. Left to escape and also right to escape. Okay. Now, I understand the potential worry that this new submission... But how do you counter the submission? ...simplify submission and make them too easy. Well, rest assured, the team accounted for this concern because in tandem with the regular HUD Let's see. explain head, body, and leg health, an additional gauge now shows your submission health. Depending on the strength of the submission, your athlete's wait, submission wait, where's the gauge? stats, as well as your current stamina level. Okay, that one. The purple, as as three purple bar right here. Attempts to completely deeply your submission health. And when that happens, the submission is instantaneous. It is important to note that despite this protective measure, oh, one shot wait, so if that's the case, you cannot submit uh, a fighter quickly in just a few seconds into the game because you have to empty the the submission. Uh, I don't know what it's called, submission health bar. Wow. Plausible in UFC five. Well, let's again. <laughs> we'll have to see once the game comes out. And typically happens when a player has severely mismanaged your stamina, 
granting the attacker a substantial stamina advantage upon initiating the submission. When it comes to submissions in UFC 5, stamina is king. Yeah. So make sure to. But it's also in UFC 4. If you don't have stamina, you cannot escape manage yours. the submissions. Contextual submissions have also been expanded in UFC 5. If you find yourself in sight control and you try to escape to half guard by framing and bridging up, be careful because your opponent could very well counter that with an arm triangle. Oh. If you find yourself entangled in a rubber guard and you try to recover the full guard, also be careful because you could find yourself fighting off an arm. Oh. UFC 5 introduces a multitude of contextual submissions that once mastered imbue the ground game with a heightened sense of authenticity. Add into the authenticity Man, of the ground I'm game, interested. The ground and pound system has also been revamped. All new ground. Well, remember in UFC 4, the the action stops <laughs> whenever you, uh, yeah. There's a ground and pound. The action stops for a split second whenever you change something. So, yeah, that that sucks also. From straight punches to hooks, including high impact elbows to the head. Oh, the elbow! Accurately captures the visceral reality of ground and pound, and unlike past iterations of the game. When you stop the oh. opponent on the ground, the reaction they give you... Man, the elbow! So we've talked about the brand new submission nice. system. Nice! We've talked about contextual submissions. We've talked about the brand new ground and pound. But I'm sure a lot of people still have questions in regards to the core ground game, right? Like, how is it different from UFC 4? What else was done to it in UFC 5? And once again, I sat down with Eves Gomez. And he's going to talk about some changes that might not be immediately noticeable. But they'll still have a major impact in the way the game actually plays on the ground. If you have pretty much a whole round on the ground, your stamina, like your permanent stamina consumption should be similar to if you have a whole round strike. The ground won't be like a refuge of almost no stamina cost anymore. With the new submission systems, seamless submissions, we added a lot of depth, but we didn't want it to be intimidating for new players or players who are starting to grapple. You can play grapple assist within submissions it all flows like for a casual player like it's pick up and play you're not going to play at a high level but you're not going to get stuck now there's no more mini game and when you're using grapple assist grapple assist just keeps nice you get into the actual submission. You can that you that looks nice you tend to just keep going and finish your opponent if you're oh player, khabib you're to get up you can keep just doing that or if you're trying to ground a pound you can escape a submission right into a ground and pound position to punish your man. The animations, the movements in, in UFC 5 seems way better than UFC 4. Yeah, I take my word back. A lot of the fanciest things in this system actually happens a lot. You get to see a lot of cool animations because you're often. Oh, especially if you have two. Yeah, we we didn't see that one in UFC 4. And when you're racing, like you know that that's when you see the coolest stuff, right? You get into an armbar. Man, yeah, this game looks so cool. Like immediately, you just you try to escape, I try to finish. You go into a belly down armbar, you flip, and then end up inside your leg. All of these crazy stuff, the coolest stuff, actually happens a lot when you're playing as a beginner. In your own pace, you can start to explore depth and changing your controls and so on and so forth. And there are more, more changes. Cool. So it was almost impossible to get to back mount and back flat positions because when you're doing it, people could just roll for free and end up back. Sitting. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, look at this escape here or transition, not escape, transition. Because when uh, from Connor, look at this. People could just roll for free and end up he gave up his sitting, back, which is, which is bad. But I, I was amazed by the transition. If they have a stamina advantage, they can do that just like you before. If they don't, they can. Full so mount again. <laughs> there's a new actual transition again. For when you're trying to get back mount and they're trying oh. to roll. It's a brand new result. I won't say what it is, but it's not back sitting. Now it should be much more viable to get to the actual back mount and back flat and use the submissions from there, which are supposed to be very juicy and they are. With the real impact system, intuitive striking controls, improved defensive tools, and all new submission mechanics, wow. EA Sports UFC 5 offers the most immersive, authentic, and exciting mixed martial arts gameplay experience to date. 
Nice. I'm excited about this, man. EA Sports UFC 5 will be out soon. Yeah, this is definitely a must-have, a must-be-order. And one question here. When will EA make another NBA game <laughs> to challenge 2K? Because right now, 2K24, or NBA games, kind of stagnant. So I wish EA would make another basketball game well that's it hope you enjoy this like the video subscribe and see you on our next episode thank you for watching bye bye